Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick9G. Let's play a little bit of Transport Fever. Now, I played Transport Fever before. I did a bit of a mini-series on it. And, I don't know, I'm not going to say I'm going to make a series, but I want to play a little bit of the game. So, hopefully you guys can sit back and enjoy. This is a game where it's pretty much freeform. You can do so much. The idea is to connect transportation lines and resource management lines. It's really fun. You make money by doing this, and you can lose money by doing this if you don't do it correctly. So let's just get started. We're going to do a free game over here. And I don't know, I want to do a U.S. map. Now, U.S. map is always desert-looking. European is always, like, green-looking. However, these names are a little harder. U.S. is a little easier, so I'm just going to go for that. We're going to go with flat terrain. Uh, we're going to go with 1900s. The reason why we're going to go with flat and not medium is kind of want to make this game fairly simple. It's not a challenge map or anything like that, and it's I just want to play it fairly simply. Uh, for the seed, you can type in whatever you want or go random. I'm going to just go rig 9 g So that's exactly how you type it if you want to get the exact map that I get. And uh, yeah, those are my settings, and let's just start playing. All right, and here's the map, guys and gals. I'm not going to say that I'm going to teach this video necessarily because, um, or I'm going to do lots of teaching in this because it does take a little bit of work on its own. So, again, this is Rick, capital R I C K, space N I N E G, capital N, map. What's important about that is if you type that in, you will get this exact map. Every time you play the game, it's different. And so you can see there's different things here. Let me give you a quick example. Over here, you'll see this is a factory. This factory requires nothing and produces uh, crude oil. And so uh, basically, you can get that crude oil and go to the next step. So we're going to need to find uh, a factory that uses that. So an example would be over here. We can zoom into this one. This one takes that crude oil and makes it into either oil or fuel. It depends what we want, which is cool. And then there's chains that you can do that get tougher and more difficult. But we need to find what is most simple for us and try to get that chain going and rolling so that we can be successful in this map and start making money. That's the hardest part, making money. Uh, this is very similar to the crude oil. This just starts out as either cows, livestock, or grain. And you got to move that into the one that corresponds. And so I'm just trying to look around the map, guys, and I'm trying to find things that are very similar, things that we can use that are close to each other so we can use them. So let me take a little bit of time and do that, and I'll be right back. All right, so here's one, guys and gals, and uh, it's fairly simple to show you. I thought I did flat. I don't know why it's not flat. Well, I guess this is the flattest this becomes. Anyway, uh, look what I have here. It's a very, very good example. We have crude, and this is perfect. It is crude Chicago oil well, and over here we have San Francisco oil. Now, it's not accurate to how these are actually far away with each other. It's random gen, of course, and here's the city. This happens to be what city? What city is this right over here? All right, everyone, I had to change my key bindings for recording. Anyway, too complicated. Let's look over here at San Francisco. Now, you see this? Every city needs the same thing. It needs population, uh, people in here, of course. It needs shopping facilities. It needs these three made items and these three. Now, you can see fuel. Now, fuel is very easy to make. All you got to do is bring stuff from here to here. So let's just start doing that. I'll kind of show you as we do it. So first, let's start over here. We're going to have to build a kind of a factory or thing. Well, let's build a road first. Do we need a medium road or a small street? We'll just build a small street. We're going to be very wise. I usually think that taking smaller streets is a little easier, and it makes a little bit more sense. So I'm doing the road first. You don't have to do a road first. But sometimes, see, that's a half a million dollar piece of road. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. Now, is that the only way this is going to work? Because that would be very unfortunate. Might have to do something else. Oh, there we go. Sometimes if you do it small like that, it helps. You see how that helped a lot? <laughs> all right. So we're going to do something like that and maybe connect these two. Because we don't need to go all the way here. Uh, so let's start over here with the station so we make sure you need freight and we're going to turn this around and what this is going to do this is going to be able to collect supplies from the cr proper spot i was going to say cropper from the proper spot so this will work let's just turn it and there you go so they'll go from here all the way down to here we're going to use trucks we're just going to use trucks starting out make it fairly simple now the sound is on 
We just want to make sure that it is in the proper level. So yeah, music is stopped. We don't want to get copyright issues. I can move the volume up a little bit. Okay, you'll just hear birds and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get this truck station going. So we can at least get a couple lines going so you guys can see how this works and see if you want to see more of this game because it's actually fun. That's really cheap. Let's see how these cars doing their thing and working. Now we also need a depot. Now this depot is helpful because it helps us to uh, select the trucks and cars and equipment that we need. We're going to buy some things. So we're going to go freight. Now we can go really expensive and go crazy, go efficient like that. Uh, or we could go horse-drawn carriage, but I think we might just do this. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. We gotta make a new line. So we can call it anything we want. We can call it uh, oil, oil refinery. So it's it's refining stuff. We'll keep it at yellow and we're gonna build the two locations here. And we want it to go from here all the way over there and back, obviously. So it'll go from here to here and here to here. And we want to do load if available. Then we're gonna do, what's this one? Full load if any. There we go. Then we have, what do we have? Full load all. So we gotta actually wait for full load or unload. So we're just gonna do that for now. Or refinery, very simple. Um, I thought we bought the vehicles. Oh, we already put them on the lane. Look at that. Look at that. The first trucks in 1900 going to where they gotta go. Now we can accelerate time just a little bit. Now what's really helpful, let me tell you, is to make things go into the order. So from here, we're gonna add another road going over here. Now that's gonna be helpful for a couple of reasons. That's an expensive road, isn't it? But like I said, if we do it 45, look at that, we made it cheaper. So we're gonna put another area over here. Now if you click on San Francisco, you can see that the fuel that we want goes to the yellow section, which is the jobs, the industrial region. That's kind of splatter, it's kind of in this area. So what we're going to do is kind of cover as much of that area as humanly possible. That's really expensive, Rick. We're not gonna do that. So we'll do that. And what, 7,000 and then, yeah, just, just fairly simple. And so we're gonna put the depot over here. See that? And then, there we go. Okay, so this is gonna encompass, look at that, all that area, not so much that, which is unfortunate, but hopefully the area will grow and it'll be a thing. So I can go back to the line, click on the line and add this as the third. So what's gonna happen, they're gonna move back and forth between these guys, which is fairly helpful. We can even add another depot. Now you don't need to, I'm just gonna do it to help alleviate and help the process a little bit more. And I think I'm gonna buy maybe three or four more because it's a long way a ways. So I don't know, people have a science where they say, oh, you gotta buy this amount or this amount and so forth. And I don't know, it's, uh, it's all conjecture and theory from now on. So what's really nice is you can actually zoom in fairly close. Look how much you can zoom in here. Let's just slow this down. Look at this Ricky little guy over here. Look at this. Look at these guys trying to work, trying to do their thing, trying to collect the loads that they're trying to produce. Now here, these guys are still trying to make it back. These guys are still traveling. Now these guys, again, look at this. So this is important, that's why we put full load. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this guy has six units of oil, even though there's eight here visibly. And so what he's gonna do, he's taking them, this is just straight oil, bringing them over here. And this guy is gonna produce these six. Now let me just show you how the process works. I'm gonna see them being dropped off. See that? And you're gonna see the, the number go up as they're dropped off. Just to show you the concept here, see that? Look at that, and that's immediately going to be starting to be produced into something else, which is really good, but really helpful. Now look at this. This guy has three of the six. Now this guy's waiting until he's ready, and he's going to come over here and bring it to the city. And then we're going to notice that San Francisco will start to have fuel to come over here. So that's how that works. And uh, that's how this happens. It's kind of a self-contained system. If you want to add more of these things, you definitely could. And we're losing money. But look, now we're finally starting to make some money. And now it depends. You can add more trucks. 
and be like, oh, that may help. And it may, but if you have too many trucks, your overhead will be too much. So you just gotta be careful and see what's up with that. So I might just add more. And I'm gonna save this, actually. I'm gonna save it rick 9 g because, well, you guys know that uh, I'm sure that you would have guessed that I would have a lot of these save games, and so you are correct. Let's just save that, and there you go. Simple as that. And even have these guys go back and forth. Now, what's great about this is that these guys will go where they need to go and pick up what they need to pick up. The system is kind of automated in where they go. They go where they're most needed. So see, this guy is dropping stuff off. See that? And this guy is still waiting for his stuff, but look at that. See that? So already, we should look at that. We're making $34,000. Very, very good. Now what's great about this lane is that we can even make another stop. We can make another pit stop, which is Chicago. But I'm not going to do that yet because I don't want to jinx it. But I can tell you that we can make another lane from the fuel and make it to Chicago. So let's see if we can do that. Because later we can probably make it one, but I don't know if I want to do that necessarily at this moment, at this second. So let's see if I can do this. I don't want to delete a building. I'm going to try to spare that. Okay, let's see if that, guys and gals, will do anything. Like if that'll help, okay? So let's do another one. Okay, see how that doesn't do anything? See how that doesn't help at all? This, this might have helped more, to be honest with you. Let's just get rid of this road. And then we'll plunk this guy down. Look at that. Encompasses everything exactly what we wanted and the road here so we can do a little bit of a not a cheat sheet but help out the road I'm extending it from here we're not going to spend that much see sometimes it gets carried away because the levels of how you're building and so forth get adjusted as you're building it so see that it's like okay now the road keeps adjusting i gotta be careful there Eighteen thousand. do doing small increments you do save money I've tried it both ways, and people have shown me that as well. Okay, so see that? And then boom, right there. So I can do another one now. We're going to do another line. And we're probably going to change this, because this is that's an oil refinery. We'll just do another line, and that's oil to Chicago. So we're going to do here. We just type it in, oil, Chicago oil. I like to do the city first, and I may rename the other one to be 100% honest. And we'll name it over here, or we'll go over here, and you will see the route. You can see the route very nicely, very easily. And the trucks actually come out of this area. I think we'll have six or seven of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll go to the green line, of course, and they will start to take off. They will do their thing, guys and gals. Let's go back to these. Look, we're, we're making 68,000, which is great. It's not an extreme amount. I think it's a fairly good amount. Look at these guys. Look at this. They're hauling. Look at this. How much do they got? He's full. He's full. So we can come over here, and we're going to start to see San Francisco, start to see some good um, expansion. Now, another one you can do is bread, and then the brick here, because those are only, it's it's kind of simple like this. It's only like one level. And so here's a brick. All you really need is this stuff. See that? stone so you can bring the stone to this guy or you can find another one that's probably closer let's see this is another food one what's this this is I don't know what that is iron so I don't think iron will work to make bricks doesn't seem like it's logical we have more over here we have this guy we have wood but remember, if you can make the production lines all at once, that would be the smartest thing. So that you're not stretching out your lines or, you know, because you got to create that demand. Here's another one right over here with oil. And sometimes you may need to use trains, guys and gals, because it might be too far. Now, this might be a good one. This might be a good candidate for a train here, here, and then here to here. So I don't know. This might be a good one. Can we try a train? Let's just try it. Okay. Let's go train, and we're going to go freight. And let's see if this road will work. This road should work. Let's do it like this. Let me just make sure it's going the right way. Yeah. Okay. 
Now, another thing you can do is something like that and have the road connect. See that? So what I'm doing is Okay, so that connected. And see that's that's good. So this will cross over the tracks just like so. And then we want to have another one over here. And I think we'll have it in this general area. Oh no, no, we don't want that. No tracks. We want this guy. The problem with trains are that they're expensive, just to let you know. So just be careful with um, getting too ambitious and spending with the, with the trains, at least in the beginning. Because we're going to do the first set with trains, and then the other one we're going to do with... See how it doesn't connect? No, no, no. Not connecting. Okay, well, we're going to have to do that. See that? See how you have to compromise sometimes? Because that one didn't work, and so I'm going to have to curve this baby. To bend it. We have to bend it like Beckham. Bend it so much like Beckham. Okay. We're going to go all the way over there. It's not a short distance by any means. So we'll do our best here. And just you got to watch your money. Truly got to watch your money. Like right there. See that? And this helps. These lines show you. So the thicker the lines, the more aggressive the uh, the terrain is the changes in the terrain so this is going to be kind of tough because this is going to be an upslope it looks like I just keep making them small like this getting over here it's not that bad it's not that bad look at that 18,000 for that long lane I'm going to pass through that and I have good faith in this one because this is this is going to be supplies and then finally when we get over there we're going to do trucks to the rest of it. So it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so good. Watch. Just, I'm telling you, it's going to be so good. All right, so we need a train depot. So I think the train depot I'm going to place right over here. So I'm going to do this. Hit a depot. And so what this does, this is where you kind of like where you have your truck depot. Where your trucks originate from. Well, this is where the trains come from. And we're going to do here to here and here to here. Very nice. Okay. Let's we'll just get a train going. We're going to get a simple train. Maybe a more expensive train. Let's just go with that one. And then we would definitely want to go the freight route because we're taking freight. And make sure it takes what you want, which is oil. See that? So you're going to have to use this guy. If you buy this, it's not going to work and you're just going to waste money. So make sure it has the correct icon. See that? Okay. So one two three we're just going to do three now there might be too many but that's okay again i'm going to do oil train right now that might be uh not the smartest thing but later i could rename them i could change them depending on where i'm at and what i want them to be called place the same location that's not going to help not going to work place that one there and that's about it now train should be set to go where are you there we go it's already leaving, it's already going, it's already doing its thing, and again, you can upgrade these trains, upgrade the tracks, get better tracks, get better things, and uh, if you look over here, it says line usage, no. They have to go between both stations before you get that. Again, we're going to get fuel to Pasadena. We're going to look at where the fuel is. It's going to be on this side. And sometimes you may have to build a road or two or destroy something. Maybe something like that. Some people are like, oh, it cheats the system. Well, I don't know if it cheats the system necessarily, but you got to do what you got to do in this game. Okay, now see that? It encompasses... Ooh, there's my timer, guys and gals. We might have to leave this to next time. But the... Oh, no, no. I didn't want that. Definitely didn't want that. Okay, let me just delete this guy. Let me just do this. I'm just going to do the from here to here. And I think that works out. So let's build another one with cities. This is Pasadena. So we're going to do Pasadena oil. Okay. So we're going to do another color. i just do this one. I love that color. Pasadena oil. Just to differentiate. Again, later I can change it to fuel, whatever I want. We're going to do from here to. Don't think I can do that. Hold on here. So this is going to create the fuel. Yeah, okay. I see what I did. Let me just add one of these. There we go. Yeah, so 
the oil is going to be brought here and then stuck here. Perfect. There. See that? Okay, that is amazingly good. Of course, the train is going to really be losing a lot of money, and that's okay because again, it's just started. But once it's once the the trucks start going, you're going to see how it's going to work. We might have to wait till the next episode. But we'll just do this, and then we'll buy like seven of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. Pasadena oil, and there you go, guys and gals. That's how you get things started. That's how you get things rolling. I like to do that. I actually like to turn some of these around. And that's just so that they go to each one. It's kind of, I guess, a trick. See, now, because we're waiting for them to go to each station, they're not going to really pick anything up because um, there's nothing really being produced. But the idea is that they go where they need to go. And we could always connect this and make this quicker. We can always do something like this. We can always do, and the, the road will adjust, which is the most amazing thing ever. They'll adjust to the, the nearest road. Watch, we can go now. See that? See that we were going through here? And now it literally adjusted it through there. So yeah, it's a fairly smart system. Very good stuff going on. The train. And then again, you can have more cars. It's still not taking anything, but we're gonna look over here and see that this will start to produce. Look at this, already producing 58. You can see the barrels here. Look, we're gonna see this guy load up very, very quickly when the train comes, and then we'll end the episode here, guys and gals. Such a cool game. And then, like I said, you can start making money very quickly. Again, look at the train amount. See how we're already making money? This Pasadena oil, we're starting making money. Look at this. We're gonna load up. Watch it. All loaded up. Look at this, the train is full. Guys and gals, the train is full already. So we're gonna have to see next time how that works out. We might even have to add some of these cars now. See, look at this. We have to go over here with freight. Go one, two, three more. You know what I mean? Because this, this stuff is going big and then they're gonna leave some over here. Feels already ready to get picked up. So we can even add more of these guys, believe it or not. Set the line and boom. Look at that, already ready to pick these guys up. Already ready. Boom. And they'll do their job. What's great is it's kind of hypnotizing and mesmerizing, guys and gals. Like it kind of lulls you into this false sense of security of, wow, look how awesome this is, you know? Because you just see it working, you see it being produced. Look at this. Just bringing up so many stuff. Look at this. Brought it all over. Producing. Now you have, see, you have stuff it's starting to fill up. Another guy comes, and sometimes it'll be left alone and come back over here, and this is going to improve greatly, you will see. Yep, once this guy starts bringing it, you're going to see he's not bringing anything. Well, once they do, you're going to see it expand, guys and gals. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to stay positive. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up, and most importantly, be hopeful.